yes 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 Mazda and crew back once again with another video and today I'm going to just give you a quick little heads up on the Amiga uh, I've been going through a few discs recently I've got lots and lots of stuff archived uh, and stuff so for those who don't know I am now a producer from way back when I uh, still produce now but I used to produce back in the day on the Commodore Amiga all of my old tracks were on the Commodore Amiga and um, I just want to show you guys something um, this is a, this is a part of Optimed that I discovered uh, this was from how we used to work back in the day and if you look up here yeah you see where the instrument has uh, a different type and the type here that says it says it's a synthetic sample so uh, and you can set the amount of octaves um, here that you have for that sample right now which is interesting here this this program Octomed was like for those of you who don't know it's a track program right and it's way ahead of its time in terms of uh, features and stuff that was on it for the budget, you know, without spending thousands and thousands of pounds uh, on, on high tech equipment. You know, a Commodore Amiga used to be about 300 odd quid. And here we have a sine wave synthesizer um, that is really pretty basic, pretty primitive. Uh, as you can see here, it's got lots of different functions on here, uh, of which I don't fully remember how to use it. Um, but give an example here look I've got a bass sound from one of my tracks which which has been used as a sign so as you can hear here as you can see here look there's a sine wave from the Commodore Amiga this is all purely from the Amiga so you can create your own kind of bass sounds in here and I'm pretty sure if we was to uh, transpose that down let's just have a look see if that's even possible there's a parameter here yeah look you can transpose it and you could get that into quite a solid bass line I know it's probably sounding a little bit quiet I'll turn it up a little bit for you as you can hear there's a nice little rumble bass there And another thing we used to do as well with this uh, with this type of thing is once you've got a bass sound, you, you put a command on there. Uh, once you've got a bass sound playing, you put a little command on there and then you can do little cool things like this, for example. Let's have a look. So switch this on. Do a little pitch bend on it and you get some interesting effects. And I remember the old command for the uh, pitch, if I remember lightly, was 10... Okay. Right, guys, when the caps is on, be careful, yeah? Because that's what happens. The, the notes delete. So I'm going to put that as a 101. I think two. I think 200 used to bring it downwards. 200. I'm a bit rusty with all this stuff because it's a long time ago since I used it. But I used to be... I used to have lots of tricks on here, man. And it, they, as I find them and discover them in the songs, I'm going to share them with you. You'll see this, look. Right, so it's probably best to have a little note playing first and then transpose it. It'll give you a pretty interesting effect, look. Switch the edit on, bring that down. So there we go, so that's that would be like a down pitch. And if you wanted to go back up halfway through, you could literally just do this one which is the opposite right and there's lots of functions that sounds pretty sick I'll put a beat over that look and so on and so forth but let's have a quick look in here and see see look what I've set up here as you can see look there's a start here it says 0 to 40 now I have no idea what that means and then you've got the one which is the end somehow that's set up in there um, I was trying to get this thing to actually do anything I do remember that you could put a sine wave in here and different types of waves but couldn't love for life remember how to do that um, but yeah this look there's a transition here I'm not even sure what that does um, let's see so the end is there let's see what this does can I change that can I change? Can I change? No. But guys, you know, feel free to experiment with this thing here. 
you can do lots of stuff and as i do as it does come back to me uh, i will be sharing that with you guys um if you found this video interesting or useful about Commodore Amiga music production and Commodore Amiga, please like, share and subscribe, people, and give it a big thumbs up. If I get to 50 likes, peeps, I will do another Amiga tutorial. Take care. God bless. Peace. I'm a